I, I've done a lot of thinking about this, and I think the best thing that can happen uh, for Republicans is, in the state is for the inter-party fighting and, and the, all the drama and the maneuvering within the, the state party apparatus to get off the front page of the paper. Um, we need to be focused on our candidates. We need to be focused on winning elections uh, in November. And having a, a new chair election does us no good whatsoever. And so uh, I would uh, encourage the new Central Committee to, to give Danny a chance and serve through January. Doug? Inertia is a very powerful force in politics. And so as a result of that, I think Danny has an advantage. Uh, with regard to that, because no one wants to change a horse in the middle of the stream. At the same time, what the party really needs right now is a fusion candidate, someone who can bring all the elements together, because the, frankly, they are coming together. If you take a look at the people that are going to these district conventions, it is a good reflection of our party right now. And I hope Danny, to, for your sake, Danny, I hope that you can be that fusion candidate who can bring those. But Danny, you know, you come from the family leader, which is one component of our coalition. Needs to make certain you reach out to all components of that coalition. Well, do you have a fusion candidate in mind? I don't. And I, I think I can uh, make a case that I fit that description. If you look at my record in the House, um, uh, some of the major pieces of legislation that I ran had to do with education and Medicaid. Not exactly the kinds of issues that you see the family leader advocating for. So, you know, I've got a record. We talk, uh, You talked about that last night during the debate. And so... Uh, uh, you just need to look at uh, what I've done, some of the work that I've done, the, the campaigns that I've run. Um, I think I can appeal to that cross-section that Doug is talking about.